This is an instructional video describing the user interface of Onthear CG Designer. When launching Onthear CG Designer, we are introduced to the project creation interface. Let's start by describing the general workflow. On the left hand of the interface, we see a list of projects that we have opened. The middle of the screen is the composition area, where we can edit the projects that we have selected in the projects list. Clicking the settings icon gives us some options to customize the interface. Here we can toggle on and off features that help with the layout of our project. Immediately beneath the composition box is our toolbar with the different items that we can create. These are what we will use directly to make our layout and the function of each will be discussed shortly. Here we can zoom in and out within our composition window. Here we can start the animation for our preview and this icon returns the preview head to the beginning of the timeline. The timeline is this region here, and we will be discussing this in greater detail shortly. The right hand pane is the inspector area. Here we are able to adjust the properties of the individual elements that make up our composition. When launching on the Air CG Designer for the first time, an untitled project is created by default. If we would like to add another project to work on, this is done by clicking on the plus sign. We may add a new project to the list or open an existing project. Let us add a new project as we can work on multiple projects simultaneously. We can also use copy and paste functions to reuse similar items between the listed projects. We can also remove projects from this list by highlighting the project and selecting the minus sign. Note that the asterisk by the name in the projects list signifies that changes have been made to this project that have not yet been saved. By selecting Save, we can rename the project and place it in a folder where it will later be played out by on the Air CG server. By right-clicking on the project, we have the option to go to its location in the Max Finder application. The highlighted project is the one currently shown in the Composition window. The Inspector window allows us to adjust the video output mode of our project. The Auto Start and Auto Stop settings will be covered in the section about tickers. We can also configure smiles, which will be explained in the video about text items. Once this is set, we can collapse the window to give us more working room by clicking the hide button here. We can always show this again. This concludes our video about the user interface of CG Designer.